For sure. So the wines in those days were made from four different cultivars. Uh, the red being Pontac, which was what, a very last varietal. It's one of the only uh, grape varietals or cultivars that, that has red juice as well as red flesh. Uh, most red grapes have got white juice and white flesh. So Pontac was very important. They used it to make uh, port style wines in those days or to blend into the sweet wine of Constantia. Then we had Semillon. Uh, Chenin Blanc and Muscat de Frontignan. And we had two variations of the Muscat Le Petit Grand, it was red and white Muscat. Mm -hmm. So in order for the success of the making of the sweet wine in those days, they heavily relied on raisins. And that's pretty much what we do today. And we've, we've done a lot of research into the way that the wines are made in the old days, and we've tried to recreate the Vinda Constance in that style. So it wasn't made from botrytis. It's not a noble egg harvest. It's, it's a... It's a wine made from raisins. It's naturally dried on the vines. It's not a straw wine. It kind of all happens because of the perfect climate that we have.